Saint Milad Makinzaki was one of the 21 Coptic martyrs of Libya who were canonized recently by Pope Francis. He was an Egyptian layperson who was martyred when he was just 27 years old. Milad was born on the 1st of October 1988. Unfortunately, I couldn't find much information about him online. He was a husband and a father, apparently, and he had a little boy at the time of his death. Milad and his family were very poor, and he travelled to Libya in order to make more money to send home. They all lived with his parents and three brothers, so the house was very full. He was a humble and ordinary person with great faith who worked as a bricklayer. Milad loved his family and being separated from them must have been very difficult for him. Captured by the terrorist organization ISIL, they demanded that he renounce his Christian faith and become Muslim, but Milad refused. Consequently, they murdered him slowly and painfully, sawing off his head with a bread knife. This terrible execution was filmed in order to create fear, but it had the opposite effect worldwide. Before he died, Milad prayed aloud to Jesus and Mary. Some of his relics were recently brought to Rome and presented to Pope Francis by the Coptic Pope Tadros II. The orange jumpsuit belonging to Milad was later retrieved and on it was found the impression of a cross in blood. St. Milad's feast day is the 15th of February, together with his Coptic companions. The Persian name Milad means son of the sun, which is very beautiful and appropriate. We can learn from him that to be a child of God will involve suffering. May his sacrifice and courage give us the strength and consolation we need to face our own trials with faith and trust in God. Amen.